Okay. So as a secondary note to the multi-component burning, so one thing we'll notice here is that we have these nice little shadows being created underneath the books, and that is your, your ambient occlusion. And as long as this is a static object, that if this shelf were to appear in game or in your environment or whatnot, and these books don't go anywhere, and there's rarely, there's, there's not gonna be much, if, if anything, on the other shelves, then this is not an issue. Uh, where this becomes an issue is if you wish to change how this bookshelf looks, uh, you wish to have a, a bookshelf without the books on it, um, or you wish to use the book separately, because another thing too, that subtle shadow is going to be in between the books as well. So this is nice and well lit. The underside of this is going to be very dark. You can kind of see it here in our textures where that little book that's leaning up against this one throws down a shadow. And like I say, if this is going to be a static object and never change, then those nice little shadows add a really nice illusion of depth. But if this is to be something that that will change, and more importantly, if you're ever doing an object that needs to animate, then this is what you would need to do in the baking process. So we've still got it set to 4K, we've got our secondary object, and we got it matching by mesh name. So what's causing the issue is ambient occlusion. And we've got the option for self-occlusion, which is always. And we're going to take this and say only the same mesh name. So now when it creates those nice little subtle shadows, it's doing the same thing that our general bake is doing, where it's matching it up by name. So as it creates those subtle little shadows for the bookshelf, it doesn't know that those books exist. So it's just going to run through and kind of do it this way. And this is necessary for, say, if, like the robot example I keep going back to, if you were to bake all of those fingers, it's going to have nice shadow, which looks really great as long as that stand, that hand stays in the default position. As soon as he makes a fist, we're going to see those shadows actually move with the knuckles and, and then showing you like a big white spot underneath where it was actually kind of nicely tucked into the other metal bits. So this is a necessary step for, for things that will animate or, or things that you want to move later. So only same mesh. We bake it and let it go. And there. Okay. So immediately we can see here we don't have ghost books kind of projected on. And at the same time, too, this doesn't quite look as cool as it did last time because it doesn't have that sort of that nice subtle light is preventing light or the books are preventing light from getting into this kind of corner and therefore darkening it up nice subtle shadows these guys that are leaning on each other aren't really shadowing each other out um, but yeah if we plan on like say separating the books and kind of populating these shelves with these same books that we've gotten kind of nicely textured up this is the way we would want to do it. And like I was saying before, anything that animates that will move, then you need to do that. Because once something starts to move or animate, you're going to have baked in ambient occlusion. And it's just, 
it's going to go from making it look really nice to just make just breaking the the illusion that you're kind of going for in the first place all right that is her all right